tonight on Grilling with the Guru. What are we doing, Gert? We're doing our Mardi Gras Spectacular. You bet you we are. All right, so we got Guru Tasso Balls, which is going to be a rice and tasso creation that's going to be rolled up and fried golden loveliness. You're going to love it. <laughs> and we're doing a shrimp etouffee king cake. Yeah, you got to wait. That, you heard yeah, that. Yeah, right. wait, yeah, yeah. Wait till you see this finished product. You don't want to miss any of this because Grilling with the Guru starts right now. Woohoo! Welcome back to the show, boys and girls. Hey, man, look at that. We, we brought out we brought out the colorful cream cheese. Look at, dude, that's cream cheese. It's not Easter. No, no, but and that's look not how sweet. Look how beautiful that is. Turned out fantastic. Purple, green, and yellow, man. The that's colors gonna drizzle girl. over our king cake. Yeah. So, uh, thank you for joining us. Mm -hmm. So we're doing a little Mardi Gras spectacular. It's gonna be spectacular. So what uh, what we're gonna do is we we were in, I was we was inspired by these dishes which we see on TV, the internet, and stuff like that. Yeah, some things we come up with our own. Yeah. And we take all the credit. Right. Like the like the, like the the barbecue fried chicken. Oh, uh, that was ours. Yeah, I don't care what anybody says. That's right. Uh, social. Uh, <laughs> we came up with it first, okay? <laughs> but this, we were actually inspired through different me uh, mediums. Like, That's I, right. I saw mine on TikTok. And I saw mine on television. There you go. So the Italians have this dish called arancini, and it's uh, fried, it's fried rice, it's rice ball. Uh, and it's fantastic if you've you never had that it. You said that so well. I mean. Anyway, yeah. they roll it up. Was in the first place. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's called a segue, ladies yes! and gentlemen. <laughs> so, uh, Earl's Cajun Market. Out there on Verout School Road, Tammy and Mr. Larry and his beautiful wife. Let me tell you, y'all need to go by there and check them out. They got one of the best meat markets. And Chantel, I'm a little biased, is one of the best butchers. She'll take good care of you. Be sure and tell me that we sent you. The guru sent you. Yeah. I mean, I saw Tammy and his wife, uh, his mama today. So, yeah. they love the show. They appreciate everything. And we appreciate y'all going over there and patronizing I mean, Earl's because look, this is where all this good food comes from. When you from. get stuff like that. So oh, yeah. Earl's. Uh, Gilbert's Greatest Foods, makers of Louisiana yes, Love. Yeah, yes. Because with Louisiana Love, just uh, back up. Try it again. No, throw in the trash can and start all over, bro. What you doing? I mean, what you doing? And the Gidra Company's on Wilson, powder coating, fabrication, metalwork. I, I don't know if it's a coincidence, but I went over there to talk to my brother the other day. And, Greg. you know, we got a new, yeah, Greg. Thank you, Greg. And we got a new governor, Mr. Jeff Landry. Yeah. Appreciate you. Not Greg. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> definitely not Greg. <laughs> but that's okay. He could be. He could be. And, uh, and I don't know if it's a coincidence, but, man, all of a sudden, bruh, the, we powder coat valves, the inside of these valves. Yeah, and yeah. And we're the only company in this area that can do that. It's an epoxy valve because there's a lot of corrosion and stuff. So Correct. They bring it, and we have, you know, we've been doing them here and there. Dude, they brought, I don't know, Mike. 20 of them son of a guns over there. I mean, the they times said, they, they are said, changing. They said it's getting ready to open up. Bro. So that's been so it's it was, amazing. Thank, thank you very much for patronizing yeah, our sponsor. Percy Gidris, powder coating, fireplaces. So we so getting back to it, we're gonna take some of this beautiful in-house made tasso from Earl's. We're gonna make a nice, beautiful brown gravy with it. We're gonna mix it with some Louisiana rice. Oh yeah. And we're gonna make it in we're gonna, You're gonna make it in it? the balls. We're gonna put a little cube of cheese in the middle. Oh, because we can. Because why not? And then yeah. we're going to fry them up. So mm. that's going to be fantastic. Yeah, with flour and panko. Flour, egg, and panko. Yeah, man. And then man. you are okay, going to well, use this yeah, we're just gonna to show, do that. We're just going to give you a little sneak peek. Now, the reason we didn't cook this on air and we pre-cooked this is a 
uh, shrimp etouffee. Yeah, already mixed with rice. Already mixed with So we're letting this cool, guys, because as, as we lay out this for the, the pastry, we're right. going to make a pinwheel out of right. it. Right. We're going to, we don't want to put it in there hot. We want to put it in there kind of room temperature. Correct. And it's already going to, it's been soaking. It's almost like uh, seafood boudin. Yeah, or, or, or seafood jambalaya or, or something seafood like that. jambalaya. That's right. That's right. So yeah, we're going to put a little moat. We're going we're gonna to drizzle some of that white cream cheese over. It's going to look like Bavarian cream, but it's not. But it's not. Yeah. And then we're going to put that on the grill. Yep. We're going to fold it over, put it on the grill and bake it. Bring it up to the, the dough's done. Everything's already pre-cooked. Right. And once it gets that golden brown, we're going to take it off. We're going to drizzle all this beautiful Mardi Gras stuff. And we got some of the juice that's going from go the top of that too. and that's going to go on top first. And then we're going to put the pretty colors. And I, I never, we never done this before. This is our virgin voice, but I got a hunch. Yeah, if I'm a betting man, it's going to, you know it's going to make the cookbook. <laughs> they, they got those sport apps now that you, they say you can bet on anything. Bet on that. Bet on that. <laughs> I guarantee you, ten to one odds, we're going to win that. So yeah. look, we got to, yeah. we got to take a little break. Let's we're do gonna it. Clean everything off. We're we got to start do it. cooking our gravy, and yeah. uh, when y'all come back, mm -hmm. it's time to get down to it. Let's go. See you in a couple minutes. Happy Mardi Gras! Hey guys, welcome back to the show. So let's, here we go. We're gonna talk about the king cake real quick. Let's get to it. So guys, if, if Matt, you want to come in real close, I used two cans, which has eight little triangular pa uh, little uh, piece dough, piece yeah. of the dough. Yeah. And you just basically start out and you just keep going in one direction. After I kind of made the whole circle, you you just kind of press them together, the ends yeah. and everything. Close the seam. Yeah. And then I took a glass and I just made a hole. And, and I laid flour down there so it wouldn't stick, and I'm That's making right. it on the peel so it should slide off real easy. Fingers crossed. So, yeah, and then we, we just kind of, <clears throat> you know, patted it all down, got a nice thin consistency to it, pretty even. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come in. Again, this is room temperature now, but it's pre-cooked, and we're just going to lay uh, like a little moat all the way around. Comme ça. Hey, if you're just joining us, we're making uh, shrimp etouffee king cake. Yes, we are. And Guru Tassel Balls. Yeah, you heard that? Yeah. Say that five, three <laughs> yeah. times. Yeah, so we're just, gonna, we're just going to go all the way around, and then I'm going to keep doing this. So, Kurt, you want to talk about what you, what you got come on the see, grill over there, Come Matt? see, come see, come see. Well, check that out, Matt. Sure. <laughs> it smells incredible. <laughs> so we got to sell. So what, uh, you, what, you, what you got in the pot? A couple of pounds of tasso from Earl's in-house homemade tasso. And some beautiful onions and garlic. We're browning it up real nice. And now that we got that going like that, there you go. A little bit of vino, some vin. Well, I thought that was some wine. Yeah. I could, I could hear it. It didn't sound like water you added. Well, it, it was water. <laughs> <laughs> some, and it, and some, it got better. Some, some, <laughs> some expensive grape juice. Yeah. yeah. So the glaze our pan. We're going to let this uh, come back up. We're going to add a little bit of water to this and start making our gravy. Once, it, once we make our gravy, we're going to take this off, mix it with some rice, let it cool down, then we're going to roll it in the balls, put a piece of cheese in the middle, and we're going to fry it. How about that? Because we can. Oh, you better believe it. Look at that. So look, guys, I'm making a little donut with the shrimp etouffee. And that's I'm about, about there. Dude, make make sure it's kind of proportioned. I could eat that like that. Oh, well, of course. <laughs> the smell is intoxicating. Man. And I'm not just talking about the alcohol coming off the wine. No. Okay, and then we got the regular cream cheese. Now what we did, guys, is we heated this up in a pot and added heavy whipping cream. Thinned it out. And we thinned it out. So, so what cream we got, cheese and whipping cream. Yeah. And this we, is the low-calorie version of this dish. Oh, yeah, very low-calorie. So this is, when you cut into it, this is going to have a resemblance of like uh, Bavarian cream, a cream cheese stuffed king cake. Yeah. So we thought about it. That's right. Look how, look how awesome that looks. Oh, what? Golly. Ooh. So then we go, we need a knowledge bomb for Charlie Pritchett. So. We're going to have that in the next segment. Okay, wait. We're more be Charlie. Patient. Yeah, we, it's, be patient, Charlie. Call that a cliffhanger. Charlie, hang <laughs> on, baby. Look how pretty that is. Yeah. Awesome. And, and then what we're going to do from here, we're going to just take this, the outer dough, we're going to pull it across, and we're just going to tuck it into the middle and just keep doing that all the way around. Oh, boy, that's going to be good. 
Well, you're going to have yourself a meal right there. Oh, yeah. And it's going to be beautiful. So, I mean, if you got guests coming over, they gonna you want to impress them. Look at that. So, look, guys, if you notice, whenever he folds it over, there's always going to be a pleat. Just, just pleat it and right right there. See? Yeah. Just fold it over yeah. and pleat it on itself so you make a nice ring. Oh, man. I can't wait for that. <laughs> so, what so, else we got to talk about? Well, let's look. We're going to go to break. When y'all come back, we're going to continue cooking. And we're going to probably talk about some Mardi Gras stuff. Oh, yeah. What you doing for Mardi Gras? Uh, probably not too much. Egan has a big Mardi Gras? Egan has a Kuriri Mardi Gras. Oh, that's uh, where they ride horses? That's where they ride the horses and chase chickens and ingredients. Ingredients. But I'll tell y'all some stories when y'all come back. We had a lot <laughs> of fun doing that. Girl's too old for that now, though. Oh, you got to go to work the next day. But I tell you what, people come in from around the world to see that type of Mardi Gras. There was some people from the Netherlands. It was on TV. It was on the news. The local news, they nice. showed up. And uh, they showed up for that. That's it's, it's only uh, six hundred years old that tradition. Oh, so, I mean, yeah, well, when, when they gonna do it right? Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it takes them that long to figure it out. We working on it. Mm. Come back in a couple of minutes, guys. We'll mm. see you real mm. soon. Right. Mm. That's good a lot, huh? No. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, hey, hey, how y'all doing? Welcome back to the show. I'm mesmerized, bro. Oh, my God. The, the aromas that are coming out that pot right there. Can you smell what the gurus are cooking? So look you already told them all what you did in there. Yeah, so look, we took our, we took our tasso, and we browned it really well with, uh, with some onions and some garlic. Mm. And once it got nice and brown like that, we put a little bit of wine in there and some water and deglazed it. And then we added, we thickened it with a little bit of flour and water just to get it a consistency because now we're going to add this to our rice. And we, we're, basically, we're making a form of rice dressing, really. But you don't want it to be soupy, but it's got to be moist because you can see the rice is stuck together. We don't, we don't want that. That was cold rice. It was you, cold would rice. You, would you, use, you don't want to use warm rice. Well, you got to let it cool off anyway. So in this, in this case, it's helping us. Right. You know? Because uh, when it's cold rice and it's rehydrating with that hot liquid, isn't it going to moisten up that rice a little bit better? Yes, that's right. It no. will. It yeah. will. Uh, yeah, because as rice cools off, it loses its moisture. Yeah, because if it's hot, it's pushing out steam. It's pushing it, ain't, out it ain't soaking up anything. Man, that's right. That could be a, a knowledge bomb. Charlie, where you at, baby? We got a couple <laughs> for you tonight. Uh, Keith made these beautiful uh, cream cheese uh, colored, we're going to call them frostings, but they're not sweet. They're savory. Mm -hmm. And he did it by thinning out cream cheese with cream, huh? Heavy whipping cream. Heavy whipping cream. I put it in a, a, a pot. Well, first of all, I put two blocks of cream cheese in a, in a pot mm -hmm. and, and with a little bit of heavy whipping cream. Yeah. And just all together, no coloring. All together now. All together now. No coloring. Just stirred it, whisked it until it was the same consistency. And I kept adding the heavy whipping cream until I got to the consistency I wanted. And then I separated into three bowls and started adding. Do you know if you, because they only got red, blue, uh -huh. and yellow. Uh -huh. They ain't got green or purple food color. How'd you do it? Okay, you want to know? Give it to if me. If you mix blue and yellow, you get green. And what happens, how you get the purple? To get purple, you mix the blue with the red. Look at you. Man, I learned Look that at in you. It, but, Como at High School, yeah. Como High at. School. <laughs> Hey, Miss Evans. <laughs> so, so the knowledge bomb is, is if you're trying to thin out a fat-based product like yeah. cream cheese, right. use a f something with fat in it like milk or cream. Don't use water. Well, you can, but you're going to fight with it. The yeah. water is going to want to hold, hold off. It's going to want to ball up. And it's, it's, the, here's, it's the, here's the big word. The emulsification. It's, it's anhydrophobic. Cream, fat is anhydrophobic. No, so God. fat Fat, that's why fat makes a ball whenever you put it in water because it, they don't like each you other. You got that word from Charlie Pritchett. That's yeah, why it's I saw him at the store bomb. earlier. <laughs> Hydroponic, she said? And hydrophobic. Yeah, see, Charlie says that word all the time. All the time. Thank He's you, constantly Charlie. saying, Charlie, we appreciate you for that, baby. <laughs> so use a fat based liquid to thin it out and you'll get you know, much better success. Can we just eat it like that? Well, we're about to. Because <laughs> look, I don't think this is going to make the show. We, did, oh. we just went down to one dish for well, the show. Well, I see we got a lot left. We got some rice left over. We're going to yeah. be going so home look, with that. This is the consistency you want, guys. You want it, it, okay, it moves off the spoon, but it's not liquid. And so, that, that rice separated and rehydrated. Absolutely. So uh, having co room temperature or cold rice is the ticket. It's the ticket. And so we're going to make sure it's 
It's still just a hair warm, so I'm gonna stir it around a little bit the, the, because we gotta put an egg in here. Yeah, you want to And we don't want scrambled egg. eggs. No. <clears throat> Which wouldn't be bad, by the way, but that's not what we're doing. That's right not now. what we're going for. So hey, look, a little L break. Let's give him a little piece. Oh, come here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're gonna give him look, a little piece. Just a little, we're not supposed to open it. So no, we're, we're letting it bake right now on the cage. There you go. Look at here, Bo. A little bubbles look on at the that, bottom. Bo. It's coming along. <laughs> <laughs> But that's gonna be good. What? And some good right. some more. Man, so hey, come back in a little bit. Y'all don't go nowhere. We're gonna continue making our, our, our Tasso Guru rice balls. And we're gonna continue baking our king cake. And it's Mardi Gras. We'll see you in a couple minutes. Hey, Mardi Gras! Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Kurt, Ooh. we are progressing nicely. Mercy. Okay, mercy, what mercy. you got here, okay. bro? So look, guys, this is standard batter procedure, right? Right. So we took we took our wonderful rice and gravy mixture. Right. We cracked an egg in it. To kind of wet we gotta everything. Make sure it's cool to the touch. It doesn't right. have to be cold. Just, right. You don't want to scramble the egg. Right. Mix it up. Then we rolled, rolled them in a bowl. We put a piece of cheese, a, a cube of, of, uh, of pepper jack cheese. In the middle. And just form the, the ball around it. And then we went flour, egg, egg wash, wash, which is just egg and milk. Panko. And then panko. Season, season, season. Season every step of it. That's right. And then you just roll them up. Now, whenever you're doing this, you might, if you're doing it, it might start to fall apart. Or you feel it's soft. If you feel the mix is too soft and it's not holding together, you could just put a tablespoon of flour in the rice mixture, in the rice and gravy mixture. Right. And stir it around and let it sit for a second and it'll take up some of that moisture for you. But try not to get it dry. And what we did, because we were waiting on the king cake to cook up a little bit, you actually put them back in the refrigerator, that's let right. them kind of harden and, and up that, a little and bit. And that's a good that's a good point for you to do too. Mm -hmm. Do put them in the refrigerator because it's going to help solidify them. So, uh, and we're going to, I think we got some oil. We do have oil. And this is the thing. All the insides have already been cooked, guys. Right. So all we're doing right now, dropping it all, is we're crisping the outside. We're and, cooking and, the outside. And melting the cheese. And melting the so cheese. So you only need to get to about 150 in the middle when you're golden. Yeah. So we got the king cake. Oh, look at that. Nice golden brown. Look at that. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. It is gorgeous. Wow. Looks all like on a the king cage. cake. Yep. Oh, look at that. Look at Boom. the Look at the, look the at sizzle, Look man. at the sizzle. Now, don't overcrowd your pan, okay? Because every time I'm dropping something in here, it's, I'm lowering that temperature. Right. So, and look, my oil is also rising. I have an open flame at the bottom. I don't want this to overflow. This is going to... Yeah, we don't want a grease fire. We don't want a grease fire. So, we're letting it sit like that. And, just for, and you can see it's already starting to brown. But don't get in here and go all crazy because you're going to break them around. up. Yeah. Look, see? Look at that, how beautiful. Oh, oh. Perfect. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you another little secret. <laughs> Matt's that, shaking his head. <laughs> that, uh, that Keith and I figured out. What's that? A long time ago, if you're frying on a, on a grill like this, a Cajun grill, and let's say it browned a little too fast, you didn't get the middle hot, just put them on the grill right there. Oh, yeah. They'll stay nice and crispy, and they'll they continue do. to cook the middle. Yeah, so, take them out the oil and just put them on the grill. And just put them, the put them right on the grill, yep. away from direct fire, you know, just kind of indirect on the cold part of the pit. Yep. They'll stay nice and crispy, and they'll continue to cook the middle. So this, I mean, you saw, how that was in real time. That was literally like five to 10 seconds and you yeah. started rolling them. And you them. start rolling them. Yeah. And you can continue to roll them because we're, this is pan frying. It's not deep frying. Deep right. frying is the whole thing submerged. It emulsifies, right? Yeah. So you just, yeah, see? Oh, that's beautiful. But the oil, you see the bottom's not browning as fast as the first because the oil temperature has come down. Right. And with a Cajun grill, we can lift that cold tray up. That's right. We can, we can. We can. But I don't want to. I yeah. want to let it do like, so we're going right. to. So we're going to catch you up. <laughs> yeah. We're going to close Let's this recap. and we're going to catch you up on what we're doing. And thank the sponsors again. Well, that, we'll do that in the uh, We'll Alamo do that in, in our next segment, which yeah. is our favorite section. Is which it? Segment, which is, well, it always is. I know. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so we're doing our Mardi Gras Spectacular. Yeah, guys, yeah. So we're, we're doing it. Guru Tasso Balls, mm -hmm. which is Tasso brown in a nice, rich gravy uh, mixed with rice. And then you're going to use the, the extra. Gravy. Yeah, they happen the to gravy. be some extra gravy. Yeah, that's right. So we're going to make sauce out of that. Yes, we are. Uh, so we, we mixed it with some cooked rice. That's right. Let it cool. Form it in the balls. Put a piece of cheese in the middle. 
standard breading procedure and we're frying them because it's going to be delicious. That's right. And then we got a... We got a beautiful uh, shrimp etouffee king cake. Come on, you. You heard what he just said? You heard? He heard shrimp <laughs> etouffee king cake all in the same sentence. That's right. And we took a little cream cheese. Uh, we laid out some of the croissant uh, uh, dough in a croissant. semicircle. I mean, a circle, complete circle. And we cut out the middle. And we laid a moat or a, a pile of that all the way around it. Y'all saw it in real time. We tucked it over. And then we're going to, after we pull it off, we're going to dress it out with this... Uh, uh, colorized cream cheese that we, we thinned out. We put the block of cream cheese. Coming to you in live Technicolor. That's right. We <laughs> put it on the stove and we added heavy whipping cream right. and just kept stirring it until it became to the right consistency, which is what we want. And you can see how, how thin this is, guys. And if you want it thinner than that, just add more uh, whipping cream. That's right. But don't be, be careful. When you add it, mix it in and let it sit for a second. Right. So everything gets, because if you get it too loose, it's just going to run all over the Look place. Look how, that's so pretty, that green and that yellow and that purple. Oh, bro, yeah, it's uh, going to be a pretty show. So hey, you got to yep. come back yep. because it's, this is the most exciting time. Everything is going to be ready <laughs> and we're going to eat. Come and y'all get to <laughs> look at us eat. <laughs> See you in two minutes. Come Get back. out, go nowhere. Welcome back to Grilling with the Guru. Oh Peace. my God. This is how you Mardi Gras. Look at this. Look, Look at this. Talk about eye candy. Man. A dish looking as good as it's probably going to taste. Yes. Oh my yes. gosh. So uh, just to recap, we got Tasso uh, Guru Balls, Guru Tasso Balls, which is a mm -hmm. Tasso in a, in a, a nice rich gravy with rice, rolled up a piece cheese. of cheese in the middle and we fried it. Yeah, we did. Shrimp etouffee <laughs> king cake mm -hmm. with savory icing. That's savory. That's cream cheese icing. Cream cheese colored icing. Woo! All right, we got to thank Come our on. sponsors. Can we? We better. We have to. Earl's Cajun Market. <laughs> what? Look at what they gave us. <laughs> they, they made all this possible. Look at That's what they're going to give y'all. That's right. So when you go to Earl's, tell them the guru sent you. That's right. Gilroy's greatest foods makers of Louisiana love. Poo. And the Gidry Company's on Wilson. Yep. In Lafayette, getting it all done with the powder coating and the fabricating. Come see us. Watch this. All right. Yeah. Go. You got to show them that, right. that cheese that was oozing out. <laughs> Come on, you. <laughs> Come on. Come on. That's not this. a boudin ball. No. No. That's a guru ball. That's ball. a guru ball. That's some tasso. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, man. Come on, man. So this, yeah, we just, you can see. I just want to look at the, the cutaway. Look at the shrimp etouffee, Kurt. With the cream cheese on top. That's, That's not beautiful. Bavarian cream. And then we put the some more etouffee in the middle. Pull. We're almost out of time. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Grilling with the Guru. Join us next time, and we don't know what we're going to be cooking. But we know it's going to be good. We will see you next time. Mm. Oh. Huh? Mm. Huh? <laughs>